back with David Prentice from Brookside Energy this morning. David, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Yeah, really good, David. Uh, a great early result you've announced this week here from these four new swish wells, uh, 80,000 barrels of oil equivalent during flowback. A great achievement. Yeah, look, it is. It's a wonderful achievement. And, uh, you know, we uh, I think last time we spoke, we talked talked about, uh, you know, we sputtered the, the first of these wells in February of this year. Um, and we've been through that enormous process to drill them safely uh, on time, in fact, ahead of, ahead of schedule, um, and then got the completion operations done, drilled the plugs out, and now we're at the kind of the, the pointy end where we're doing the flowback and, uh, and, and just super pleasing early results from all four of the wells. And, uh, you know, uh, as you say, that 80,000 80, odd barrels of oil equivalent early on is, is important, you know, big chunk of, uh, of revenue coming in in a, in a matter of only a few weeks. Um, and pleasingly, the oil prices uh, had a little tickle up for us as well in the last uh, last week or so. So it's all looking pretty good. And as you say, a big chunk of cash, 4.3 million in early revenue. Uh, this yes. is almost 10% of your market cap. <laughs> yeah, that's right, and um, and about ten percent of the of what it cost to to undertake this project. So you know, there's not too many investments where you get to kind of recover ten percent of your investment in the first few weeks, and uh, and and we've only just started. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty remarkable, and uh, and a testament to the quality of the rock and uh, and the you know performance of this reservoir. And so flowback and testing operations they're continuing. What are the plans upcoming for these wells? Yeah, so we just steadily bring them on. We're, we're, we're recovering all of that load water that we put in during the stimulation process. So we're about 6% of that recovered so far. So we, we expect the wells to settle down um, and, uh, and you know, continue to produce while we get that load water off. And then we'll have a better idea of what the, you know, w where they fit in terms of the spectrum of outcomes. But uh, the, the early indications are very positive. And you say the rocket well, uh, that's also doing well. It is, yeah, yeah. So, so I guess the, the sort of subtle difference there between the wells we've got uh, we've got two Sycamore wells and two uh, Woodford wells. The Woodford well wells, the Woodford shale is a tighter rock um, that typically uh, you know doesn't have as much natural fracturing, so you, you, it takes you longer to see the peak rates of production from the Woodford shale wells. The the, the, the Sycamore wells you tend to get there there a little bit of you know kind of. Uh, uh, you know, instant gratification. You get you get you know a lot early, so that so they're pretty good. So, um, but all in all, uh, really pleased with the results. And so, operationally, uh, upcoming, David, what's uh, what's the news flow looking like? Yeah, so look, we, we'll continue to be to provide updates on these on the production results from these wells, and then eventually be in a position over the coming weeks and months to sort of give um, peak rates and and thirty day cumes for or thirty day uh, rates for these wells. Uh, we'll, we're, we've also moved straight on into planning for uh, 2025. So you know we're we're looking at um, at you know what's going to what's going to kick off in the first quarter of next year as well. So that that's you know coming up in terms of news flow. Obviously, the end of this week we've got the uh, general meeting for the uh, for the approval of the share consolidation. So that's something that we're we're really. Uh, Committed to in terms of um, part of the process for the US listing, we think it we think it'll really help uh, you know get you know change I guess change the aspect in terms of people looking at looking at us as an investment proposition, and uh, we're looking forward to getting that underway as well. Yeah, good to speak, David. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.